What's going on folks? This is Jagos and we're going to be talking about this whole Google YouTube fiasco where people have not really paid attention and they're obviously su surprised that Google is screwing over the public while giving more power to publishers. Let me sit here and let's take it back. When YouTube first started, it wasn't really about the publishers they didn't even know about it they didn't care about it what has been happening is that YouTube and Google have been the target of a Hollywood harassment campaign for quite a few years now in this day and age advertisers have a lot of control over what's said on YouTube YouTube is a monopoly wherever YouTube has a monopoly they sit here and screw you to sit here and get more money out of you and they've been doing it where they've cut ad revenue where they've sat here and given more tools to publishers to sit here and control quote-unquote copyright or corporate rights and to basically make it so it's very very difficult for more of the public to sit here and have a voice if you want to sit here and look at a political equivalent, look at what's happening to Jill Stein because Google is in the tank for Hillary Clinton. You can sit here and this whole thing about them taking ad revenue and all this other stuff, understand that means that they're catering to the advertisers over you. There's always a group that they're catering to and that group has more power in Congress, it has more power everywhere else, but you as a person do not have fair use rights. You don't have any other type of rights because that's all in a judicial court system. It's not in the court of the public opinion. If you want to change Google, you have to go through Congress. That means that you have to not do any petitions. You have to sit here and absolutely get off your ass, get off the computer, and sit here and protest Google. You have to protest Hollywood. You have to protest what is going on because that's the people that are running the laws that sit here and decide who has more power on the internet. Everybody came together for SOPA. Everybody came together against the rules by sitting here and having Congress form and legislate legislature and the rules that are scripted are all controlled by Google as well as other people because lobbying has more influence than any kind of public protest that you have so if you're sitting here and you're upset about the current economic system that we are in if it's not working for you in any way shape or form you need to sit here and go to Congress. You need to change Congress. And I don't believe that changing it to a right-wing position is going to be in your best interest. The reason being, usually, if you have any type of libertarian leaning, any type of conservative leaning, or even liberal leaning, all of those sit here and push more for corporate rights over the rights of individuals. Now, we can get into the ideologies of each one in a separate video. I'm not here for it. That's not the point of this. This is to say that if you're a liberal, conservative, or libertarian, and you want to support Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton at this current point in time, understand that they are not going to help you in terms of your fight with Google. This is who the fight is with. Not only Google, it's also with Hollywood. Both of them are fighting for control of how much eyeballs and how much profit and how much money they get out of you. Your money on, on YouTube is next to nothing compared to what Google gets out of you from the publishers and the advertisers. They have control of a platform that you do not have control over. You don't have control over it because a publisher can come in take whatever video that they want and take it down through copyright laws. The copyright laws have been changed for the last 40 years against the public. I want people to understand this. This is not about your political leanings in any way, shape, or form. You can fight about that all you want in the comments. 
But the point is, if you want to sit here, form up with other groups and other people to change the laws, you need to do that against the Congress that cannot be pushed any further right wing because it's controlled by a Republican Congress. And guess what? Because of those political leanings, we have had worse laws while the corporate power in America has gotten worse. And you can look at the last 40 years from Reagan to now and see that. So, just to push this, if you think that we are a left-leaning country in any way, shape, or form, I'm, you're just going to have to keep moving on because this is not true. This is not factually accurate. You can see that because we have a Ronald uh, Hillary Clinton as the newest Ronald Reagan, while Donald Trump is also a right-leaning person, we have two major candidates that will not help you in this Google Hollywood fight that is basically about them getting more power over what you can see. That's essentially the fight in front of us. Now, if you want to help that fight, you can go to the EFF, That's that they'll explain some of it, but you probably won't get a lot of the understanding that I've just put in front of you. Political leanings matter in Congress. you got to change the Congress. Don't try to sit here and influence the president. Don't try to influence the judicial court because you have no power over that. They decide the rules. Change the Congress. And it has to be far more quote-unquote progressive, whereupon you have more Lofgrens, Zoe Lofgrens, and less people like Mike Pence and all these other people that are right-leaning, corporate-backed, and sit here and go against your interests. If you want to fight Google, you have to do that in a collective manner and have far more people willing to sit here and push out Push for better fair use laws. Push for better public rights. Push for the things that have not been pushed for the last 40 years. So, in the underbar, if you want to read about the lobbying power of Google, it'll be there, as well as any other links that I show and find to sit here and give you a more informed opinion about this. Other than that, I'll see you all next time.